What is up guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Erica and I'm a third year medical student. In this video, I'm going to be talking all about what I did to prepare for the family medicine shelf. So family medicine was my second rotation that I did during my third year and it was right after surgery. So if you've seen my previous videos, then you probably have seen already how I studied for the surgery shelf. And since it was my first shelf and my first rotation, I was extremely excited and gung-ho and I used a ton of different resources and I kind of outlined which ones I liked the most and which ones I didn't think were as helpful. Um, so for family medicine, I actually kind of did the opposite. I used pretty much like the bare minimum number of resources and not to say that they were amazing and really effective because they were extremely effective and I felt like I could really focus on honing in on what was really important and um, just focusing on high yield things and it was a lot more organized because I was using fewer materials. So first thing I want to talk about is what resources I used. And this is actually really simple because I only use two resources. I use the AAFP questions online, which are totally free for medical students. And then I also use the case files for family medicine. And I felt totally prepared using just those two resources. And I felt confident going into the exam, confident walking out, and I'm extremely happy with how I did. So at my school, family medicine is a six week rotation. So basically for the first two weeks, I honestly didn't really do anything. I just kind of enjoyed the rotation, kind of explored it as a career option um, and worked on a lot of my extracurricular stuff. And then starting the third week, I actually started to look at resources, figure out exactly what I wanted to use. And so the main resources that I ended up using were case files and the AAFP questions. So the American Association of Family Physicians. And they actually have a free subscription for medical students. So if you go on their website and then you just um, create a login and a username um, as a medical student, then you'll have free access to all of their practice board questions. And just a disclaimer about the board questions, they are for resident level questions. And so a lot of times they'll ask about dosing or they'll go into a little bit more depth than you need to know for the family medicine shelf in the third year of med school. So um, I think it kind of takes a little bit of an art to just recognize what things we do need to know for the shelf and what things we don't. I think pretty much the only time I would disregard information and like not really focus too much on learning it was when it dealt with specific dosing. Um, other than that, I pretty much did try to learn all the information that I gained from those questions. Um, and then as far as case files, what I did was I just read through case files and then took notes in a notebook um, because it really helps me to kind of write that information down. And then I had the high yield stuff in case files to study later on. Um, so like I said, I didn't study at all the first couple weeks. The third week is when I really started to study a little bit. I would just pretty much do random AAFP questions when I had time. I didn't really set a goal for myself of how many I wanted to get during a day. It was just kind of like whatever I was motivated to get through and whatever I had enough time to get through. And then same thing with case files. Again, didn't set a schedule at that point. I was just reading through case files when I had extra time. Like if I was in the hospital and I was waiting for something and there was no patient to be seen, nothing to help out with then I would just pop open my case files and read through it and take my notes um, and then by the fourth week so I had three weeks left uh, by the fourth week I actually started to develop a schedule I checked how many questions I had not yet done on AFP and then I also checked how many chapters of case files I still had to get through and then I basically yeah just found out how many of each there were left over and then divided that by about um, two weeks so 14 days and the reason I did that was because I wanted to have gotten through at least the first pass of everything um, at least a week before the exam and I don't think you have to do that like I don't think I needed to have the extra week of time I just felt like it helped kind of relieve some of the stress and gave me a little bit more confidence so that whole last week after I had gone through case files and all of the AFP questions online um, I just reviewed my notes from the questions like I've shown you guys before in my previous videos about how I studied for staff and how I studied for surgery I always use my typical notebook and like post-it note tab like system I don't know it just really works for me and so I use this for every practice question that I use so in this case I wasn't using new worlds but instead I was using the um, AFP questions but same thing um, for instance this first tab is titled um, respiratory so pretty much anytime I got a respiratory question I would just um, put that in my notes like this and again it's just 
kind of like anything that I felt like I wasn't going to remember later, I was learning for the first time, things that have always given me trouble, just things like that. I wouldn't write down every single thing. Obviously this is going to differ a lot for every student because I personally haven't gone through ob I haven't gone through PEDS yet. So my pediatrics and ob guide tabs are really thick and I had a lot of information that I learned and wrote down in here and that's just because I haven't been exposed to that yet. Um, and um, so yeah, um, but basically yeah, I didn't use any UL's questions, I just used the AIFP questions. Um, honestly, they're not a great indicator of what the style of question is like on the real exam, but I felt like the information that I learned from those questions was extremely pertinent to the exam and those are a great practice for me. I don't feel like I needed any other practice questions, like I never felt like I was too limited. There's a ton of questions online. I think there's like at least a thousand questions and I'm not positive. Um, I can double check and write that in the description box or somewhere on this window. Um, but yeah, definitely great questions. Not as detailed in the explanations as URLs was, um, but that's just why it's important to look up things that you don't know if they come up in a question. Um, yeah, so that was one resource I used. The only other resource I really used was case files. And like I said before, I just took a notebook, um, made detailed notes about what I read in case files that I felt like I couldn't remember was new or frequently forget. And then um, during that last week of uh, leftover time I had between when I finished AFP questions and case files and when I took my shelf exam, all I did was review my notes from case files and those questions. One or two days before I started watching some of the online med ed videos, um, that was purely because I just got really bored of reading through my notes and wanted to do something different. Online med ed offers this really cool schedule and it breaks down what videos you need to watch for certain shelves. And so for family medicine, it shows you exactly what videos and exactly what topics to find them under. Um, and it really helps to kind of orient yourself and give you a nice schedule. And it even breaks it down into a week by week schedule. And it kind of gives you like a typical length of a rotation. Like some of the rotations don't exactly correlate since it differs from med school to med school, but it gives you a pretty good idea. Like obviously some are typically shorter, like family medicine and psych are typically shorter than let's say internal medicine and surgery. Um, so it might not get the exact number of weeks correct on their schedule, but it's pretty similar and it's really easy to modify. Um, I did not go through all the videos, but like I said, those last like two or three days before the shelf, I got really bored of just reading through my notes. And so I would take breaks and just kind of passively listen to the videos. I never took any notes. It was just like, I watched the videos listed under family medicine that were things that gave me a little bit more trouble than other things like antibiotics. I don't know why, I just hate antibiotics and like trying to figure out which one is good, what are the adverse effects, like all that kind of stuff. And so I watched the antibiotic ladder video on online med ed and I felt like that was extremely helpful and I actually got a couple questions on my shelf exam that I don't think it would have gotten right if I didn't watch that one. Now actually I watched that video like the morning of my shelf exam while I was at my gym workout. So I don't know, sometimes it helps to kind of just change up your learning style and just be introduced to um, different material, different perspectives on the same material. Um, so yeah, the only resources I used for family medicine were the AFP questions, which were free, and then case files, which I had an online version of, and I will link the um, Amazon link to where you can buy that case files book below too. Um, yeah, so pretty simple to study for family medicine. Does not mean it was extremely easy, um, but it definitely felt more comfortable during that exam than my surgery shelf exam. And I don't really know if that's because this was my second shelf exam and I was just kind of more in tune to what kind of studying I had to do and how to balance my like study life schedule or if it was just an easier shelf for me. I don't really know why. Um, but yeah, definitely felt more confident and definitely feel good about how I did on the shelf. So that's pretty much it. That wraps up what I did to study for the family medicine shelf. If you have any other questions about how you can prepare for the shelf, feel free to comment below. If you enjoyed this video or if it helps you to prepare for the family medicine shelf, then go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe to my channel because I upload new videos every Thursday.